I would say you need a predominantly south-facing roof, although southwest, southeast is fine. Okay, so how much difference does it make if it's a bit, if it's, because mine, for example, it's southeast, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it, it's not as bad as what you might think. I've done some on easterly and some on westerly roofs, mm -hmm. and there's about a 25% loss over a true south-facing roof, so it's not quite as bad as, as people might think. Okay, and does does the inclination of the roof make a difference as well? It, it does make, it, all factors will make a, a, a difference in output, mm -hmm. but um, it, again, it, it can go from flat up to 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. um, optimum in the sort of southwest is 38 degrees, but um, anywhere between those ones is okay. But, but a, a, most roofs are in that sort of pitch anyway, sort of 20 to 45, and it, there's very little loss between between 45 and 20. Because mine's about 45, is that right? Yeah, that, that's yeah. fine. Obviously, the steeper the roof, it's better in the winter months, and the shallower the roof, it's better in the summer months because of the sun angle. Oh, uh, right. Okay. Shading, what impact does that have? It, it can be quite significant if, if it's um, hard shading. But the thing about shading is you have to remember the sun does go in an arc, so whilst there's, there's really not many pro properties that don't have any shading, Mm -hmm. uh, when the sun rises on one side there might be some trees but then by 11 o'clock it might be okay or, on, or is it setting in the afternoon there might be a house opposite um, what you don't want is, is a <clears throat> something that's shading it permanently in one spot all day um, and we use various methods to s estimate the effect of, on the overall output of shading so um Trees would be soft shading, would they? And yes. what would what would hard, what would you define hard as hard shading? Hard shading is a house, or yeah, it's any anything that doesn't let any light for at all. Um, okay, so if hard shade falls onto a panel, a little bit of sort of one panel of the array, does that mess up the whole thing? Yeah, it, it does lower the voltage on the whole array, mm -hmm. and therefore it does uh, alter the output of the array. Um, there are multi-input inverters available now where you, it, it, providing you have sufficient panels you need perhaps 20 odd you can put 10 of the panels on one of the inputs and 10 on the other mm -hmm. so that it, it doesn't affect the total output because you're only you're only shading two or three of, of the 10 and then mm -hmm. it, it, because they're independently tracked the output is still still good